Okay, we're running. Okay. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Don Murphy. I'm at my piano lesson with my teacher, Bill. Uh, and like I said before, Bill, you've been so patient. <laughs> I'm 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 a, uh, a uh, not one of your better students. We all know that, right? <laughs> I'm taking my time, but what I love about our sessions, Bill, is we just talk heart and soul, and you have taught me so much about music and history and literature and everything. <laughs> and so here we are today. Uh, you also got me piano glasses. How do I look on those? Is that okay? okay. I mean, I'm able yeah. to see the music. Uh, but this is a story about this requiem, Bill, and so I'd like you to, or I'm asking you to just tell our audience about the experience you had at the Aspen Music Festival. Oh, <clears throat> sure. Uh, it was a live performance in the Benedict tent, they call it, and now it's a permanent structure. Right. And the musical forces are, are immense. There were 180 people in the choir, and there was a full orchestra in four timpani at the begin at the front stage and behind us where we were sitting on either side were brass quartets and back there higher up was a tenor who sings later and i'm not a particularly religious person in the traditional sense but the sound of the requiem and uh, which contains the order of the mass as well of right. course was just overwhelming to have right. that much sound coming at you and then the words, and it was just uh, hair raising for everybody, right. uh, even if you were musical or not. It was just uh, a really a sublime experience. And at the end, of course, requiem it ends with a temp one timpani going bump bump, bump bump, bump bump, which I interpreted in my own mind as a heartbeat. Wow! And it's wow. All, it's all solo, and it's almost the pulse of the human being. Right. I, the way I got it. And it ends very quietly, just with that bump, 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 right. bump, bump. And it was, like I say, it was just transfixing. It really was. Yeah. And I would argue that most great musicians are not particularly religious people, right? <laughs> they may have been in the past. Uh, they may become in the future, but none of that matters. <laughs> it really doesn't. It's how God uh, works through us heart and soul with music. And uh, I've just, you know, I just have such a greater appreciation now than I ever did before. And you've been guiding me all along in this. Pretty cool. Well, in my mind, as I went out with <clears throat> two of my students, uh, Marilyn and Jane, we were in Aspen together, staying in a, a suite up there. Uh, we started talking and my mind tends to wander. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I was thinking good about, thing. about the Big Bang Theory. Right. How, one, how does something come from nothing? Right. And how, how does all of that expand into what we have and goes on forever? But having heard that, that kernel of the Requiem, right. where did it come from in his brain? And there was a Big Bang. Yes. He composed it. And the energy flew out into the universe and yeah. uh, affected countless people and things. And I just tried to put the two of those together. And I thought, well, that's interesting. Yeah, it's fascinating. Thank you, Bill. You can say goodbye to our friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yeah, Oops. Oh, wait. The whole